a promising solution to a decades-long disease. Scientists in Uganda are researching a gene therapy regime to not just treat, but possibly even cure HIV. The country's Joint Clinical Research Center and the Fred Hutchison Center in the USA are teaming up to develop the therapy. This is uh, a potentially successful um, strategy. It has been shown in other diseases, not only sickle cell. Many, many other diseases, uh, you know, have, are currently being managed through uh, gene therapy. The ultimate goal of gene therapy is to stop the virus from replicating and prevent the occurrence of AIDS. The cell-based therapy is currently being evaluated in phase one clinical trials in the USA. It will also be the first gene therapy for HIV in Africa. And according to the developers, it will be ready for testing in Uganda by 2024. There is an estimated 1.4 million people living with HIV in Uganda. The government has made progressive steps in strengthening programs in treatment and prevention. Annually, we continue to see about 4,000 new infections translating into about 1,100 weekly and that burden cannot be sustainable. According to the Uganda AIDS Commission, the country still faces an unprecedented HIV and AIDS burden among young people. Even with the possible cure to look forward to, doctors say the existing challenges cannot be forgotten. We welcome the new technologies, they add on the quality of life, they reduce the cost, they improve access, but we always have to be on our guard to ensure that until we get to a point where we have a cure and we have a vaccine, we'll always be out there looking out for both ourselves and also for the others. Uganda's put in place targets for ending HIV AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. Health authorities say it is a feasible and achievable target. Leon Senyange, CGTN, Kampala. Gundam.